Hey there, so today we have another review and this is another pluck from the cellar. This is a beer from the brewery. Uh, this beer is now actually under the Brewery Tarot um, brand because it actually it has a blend of sour beer. But this is from 20, I wanna say 20, this is a 2014 blend. Uh, it actually won in, uh, yeah, 2014. It actually won a competition in November of 2013. That was a blend of different beers and what's in it? It's actually a, uh, a combination of a sour blonde Sour and rye, which is sort of their rye uh, Flanders red. And then white oak sap, which is like a huge um, imperial blonde. And then they added coconut and ginger to it. So yeah, so 17% ale aged in bourbon barrels with ginger and coconut, 83% uh, ale aged in oak barrels. So let's dig into this one. Oh, wow. Already got some of the wax off. Oh yeah. Oh, cool. We got it. Let's hope I don't get the wax in my glass now. All right, that's good. Still shows signs of carbonation. That's quite good. Comes in at 8%. What the hell? Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys, yeah, you guys probably see that. There is tons of like floaties in there. I don't know if that is probably just precipitated yeast and all kinds of, oh, coconut. Yeah, coconut's probably in there. Mm, it smells pretty nice. Wow, that's pretty inviting. It definitely has that acetic sour edge that um, Sour in the Rye has. I'm not quite sure what their blonde ale is, sour blonde is. And then white oak sap, I don't, have I had that beer? Probably way in the way in the past, but. On the nose, I could maybe get a hint of the a coconut, um, not really getting any ginger. Oh yeah, the coconut comes in. It's got that nice uh, lightly toasted confectioner kind of sweetness to it. Combined with that kind of beautiful sour, it's not as intense and and and, and uh, dense as something like sour in the rye. So I guess it's some sour blonde ale's playing in there. Pretty interesting. Let's dig into it. So, wow, um, this beer is quite sour. I actually don't know. I mean, I know I've had this before, but you know, again, you're asking like five years ago. Like I don't know what Milan number nine tastes like five years ago. Um, <laughs> this is pretty sour. Wow. Up front, this is Sour Blonde and um, Sour in the Rye attacking for days. It just has a beautiful kind of um, in, like forward acidity, um, leaning a little to, towards acetic, but nice combination. Good amount of lactic in there. It's just a combination of front and back going, going on and on, medium plus the full acidity. Ginger coconut is pretty much completely gone. No scent of ginger at all. Maybe a whisper of the coconut sweetness. I sort of smelled it and getting a little back end. You're maybe getting a little bit touch of that white oak sap, which is a big, big beer, offering a little bit more um, body to the beer, a little bit more of that kind of like uh, touch of like uh, sweetness and malt. I don't know if this beer's gotten more sour time, but it is just sour and clean, quite clean. Um, Crisp on the back end, you know, a little bit like that kind of just um, mouth-watering thing that sort of lasts on the palate. Has a little bit of that kind of just like spritz of lemons, uh, le lemon juice on your tongue and you sort of just are, are, are refreshed. I mean, it's my fault that I aged it. You know, I, it's not it's not surprising I don't taste any coconut on ginger in it, but not bad. Just just like a nice... And then, yeah, it's an oak age sour. So there, there's that like aged kind of element to it. Um, it's a little bit one two note right it's not like super crazy i can imagine why the coconut and ginger would have done well to this one and then maybe when it's fresh it's maybe a little bit less sour um or maybe it was about, about the acidity and then that the other um uh, blonde imperial blonde sort of sh showed itself more with the uh, white oak tap but um what it is here now and also you're gonna have to completely ignore the visuals because it is just chunky for days but it's quite nice. It's just sour. It's like, boop, it just does it. Uh, let's go with a pretty good sour beer. 91, 91. Um, you know, obviously this with, with a lot more complexity would be just something really, really crazy and awesome, but it's, just, it's fine. Until next time, guys, cheers. Let me know what you think. Later.